I'm going to LA in a couple of days to the Building a Second Brain Summit, and that's just one of the many sort of changes that have happened over the last couple of months and what I've been doing in my day-to-day -day life. Instead of doing loads and loads of research in Obsidian about various topics, much of my time has been spent elsewhere. And what I want to do in this video is explain some of the things that has happened alongside some other changes that I'm really excited for moving forwards. So first, the Building a Second Brain Summit. I did talk about this in a video previously about whether I go or whether I don't go and circumstances have changed and now I am going so I'll be leaving on Wednesday. I'm recording this on Monday so I'll be going in a couple of days. I'm looking forward to meeting some of the people that I've been speaking to online in Zoom calls and team chats and on X and YouTube and the rest of it. I'm actually going to see people in person so I'm excited to meet people in person but also meet other people that are interested in the same sorts of topics actually in person because most of my conversations about building a second brain and note taking and writing out thoughts and research is either with academics online or other people probably like yourself through online conversation. So I'm excited, a little bit nervous, of course, but I will be doing a video when I come back sharing my reflections, feedback, evaluation, and different experiences that I had throughout the time while I'm out there. It's gonna be the first time in America, so, or first time I'm in America, so it's gonna be um, an interesting one. If you have any questions or recommendations or thoughts about the LA trip or building a second brain summit or anything like that, put them in the comment section below so I can have a, a look or maybe plan out a couple of the days where I'm not going to be sitting and, and talking with everyone. But LA is just one of the many trips I've taken recently, and most of them are work-related. I did do the, the yearly family holiday over in Scotland, which is sort of a trip, but not really a trip. Uh, but the rest of the trips were further abroad, going to different places, specifically relating to trampoline. Because those unfamiliar, trampoline is my preferred sport. It's the sport I've done since oh, years, and I started Eastbourne Trampoline. So I coach trampoline, and that's where my research is. Sports coaching, learning science, coaching science, teaching science... I'm interested in how people behave and how we can help develop skills and movements, etc. So most of my time since about May this year has been about starting Eastbourne Trampoline. Eastbourne's the, the place that I live in the UK, and so much of my time is around trampolines. What this means as a founder, director, and organizer, administrator of Eastbourne Trampoline is that I don't have as much time to do research or as much um, floaty research as I was doing before, so my obsidian now is very directed. If I'm going to do research it's a very specific project rather than three or four projects sort of floating around at a time i've still got multiple projects on the go of course because that's not going to stop i can't just narrow in however my obsidian use is slightly different therefore obviously the videos coming out have been very not workflow related because my workflow has been the same since about may of this year because i haven't been able to explore that much which, on top of that, if you couldn't tell by the way that I speak in my videos, my speed is fairly fast according to many of the comments, and my actions, for those that do know me a little bit, in sort of behind the scenes on talking and conversations, I'm very 100%, 100 mile an hour person, so my time, as you will see in my calendar, is fully blocked. I, I can't do the sort of sitting around and do nothing thing. So uh, alongside Eastbourne Trampoline, I've also been volunteering a lot of my time in various areas. One specifically is deaf individuals because I'm half deaf, so I've been learning uh, BSL, sign language. And part of that is doing a qualification. So I went back to school to do the qualification or paperwork and all the rest of the policies and procedures and admin and expectations of running sports facilities and activities etc so i'm doing the qualification back at school but then i'm also going to deaf meetups and deaf clubs and attending different events and volunteering my time in the community in the deaf communities around me to understand the deaf community better to see how i can make things more deaf accessible or whatever that means um so i'm, I'm volunteering a lot of my time there alongside eastbourne trampoline and obviously that all directly relates to what it is that I'm researching, where I'm spending most of my time inside of Obsidian, and that is my specific research into sports coaching, the sports literature, instead of it being lofty, abstract ecological dynamics and ecological psychology research, trying to understand the philosophies, the ideologies, the, the thoughts around embodied, extended, enacted cognition. It's, okay, how do I create practice designs that are more effective for these individuals so 
being less abstract and more practical in my research focus, which is what my second other channel talks about. It's warm-up protocols or practices or practice design and replicating representative practice from basketball practice or rugby practice or whatever sport into trampoline or into deaf activity or into the volunteering things that I'm doing for physical activity for various age groups. So a lot of my time has been oh, focused. So as you probably noticed, the Obsidian videos are reduced on the channel because I'm not doing as much floaty Obsidian use. It's just a note-taking tool. It's just like Microsoft Word, except better because I can have two screens up. Maybe I'll do an updated video later, but most of my time is actually spent inside of Morgan and Obsidian, of course, side by side. But Morgan is where I live. <laughs> it is literally my life. Without it, I wouldn't be able to do all of the things that I do, plus the potential uh, job that I will be... Uh, well, the, the job that I've applied for that I might be getting soon. Wow, English. Um, but having said all of that, Obsidian, not Obsidian, Morgan released an update recently, and I, I just want to tell you about this update before the video ends. And just for context, if you haven't looked at any of the Morgan videos, I'm going to direct some in the top right. But this is my Morgan. Um, for those out of, like, completely out of the loop, Alt-C is a global hotkey, which I show my Morgan here. This is my day. Uh, this is the video I'm currently recording. But the recent update, we have have the obsidian integration which has always been there well always been there since the last update anyway and we had custom filters before so when I click on the filter I can then custom filter but they've just added due dates so I can now say due dates for Morgan so things that are due today and then due soon and then I can also filter for obsidian projects that are due today which I don't think there is anything no it's not and then due soon so I can now filter for my Morgan tasks which I add in my phone and then on my computer and my projects which I have inside of Obsidian you can see Obsidian onboarding course I need to update that the screen tool video the BASB um, review and then the basketball buzzwords which is what I'm working on at the moment which you can see up at the top there these are looking for the due dates of those tasks and then I can also filter for a highest priority or whatever so this task filter now lets me filter much more specifically about the task that I'm looking for, which is really, really nice and handy with two different integrations. And of course, as you've obviously seen, you can then do that with um, Google Tasks and Notion and ClickUp and Todoist and Microsoft To Do and Outlook and Linear. And uh, I think that's all of them. So when I clear all the filters, I can go back to my Morgan view, which is where I'm normally at because my projects are in Obsidian and my tasks are in Todoist. But that filter has been really, really nice, and really, really useful. And the update came out at literally like three o'clock. But what I would love to see if the developers are watching this or if someone sees my comment inside of Discord or whatever is something like this, an overdue, a due today, a due tomorrow and a due soon section. So instead of me having to tick all of these on, I mean, even if I do tick all of these on, it's not, I'm not sure how it's sorted. That would be my, my next request as it were to actually separate these into the overdue today, tomorrow and soon filters. And then if we then bring in my, obsidian stuff or all of these as well they would be sectioned off rather than it being all of the obsidian and morgan together it'd be today together and then overdue together hopefully that makes sense and then something else i just thought of while i'm while i'm editing this video is also a saved filtered view so instead of me having to clear the filters all the time i can just save the view and then click on the saved view that would be really cool and you may have seen in my Obsidian videos that this thing here is actually AI helping, suggestions, AI planning. So if I click on my profile picture and then go to latest changes, you can see it's talking about the filtering options and some Obsidian plugin updates as well, which is really nice. You can change the due date from the sidebar and desktop for all of the integrated tools as well, which is nice. But there is now support for the Obsidian tasks on the mobile app, which obviously I use. And these AI frames, if I hover over and go to edit, I can now see the filters. So the filters that were in the, the task sidebar are also in this AI frame. So if I go to edit frames, I can then filter for task size, all tasks here, or any task list. So you can see there my task list. So any large task I can schedule for the morning or small tasks for the morning, etc. For this one, I want all of the Obsidian tasks, so any Obsidian tasks that are in, uh, I want those projects to appear, or any large Morgan tasks. Now, because this is in the past, it's not actually going to let me task select anything. So let's go to a week view by pushing W on the keyboard. And you can see I've got a slot in the late afternoon, so I can ask AI to suggest some tasks. And you can see it's now added in some tasks. So it's gone for a high priority 
follow up with a survey. It's gone for the regional, so this one here, that's a low priority. And then it's gone for the, the screen tool sponsor. The screen tool sponsor is also low priority. Now, why didn't it pick these? Because these have already been scheduled. You can see this one was scheduled in the past and is almost completed. Uh, this one was actually scheduled this one has also been scheduled. This one obviously is right now. And then this one I'm going to be doing later on today. So the AI has picked up the ones that I would expect it to pick up the high priority, which doesn't actually have a due date. So you can see ET follow up survey and payment doesn't actually have a due date. So it's not showing here. But if I go down to the inbox and go to my high priority, it is here. So this is a task that doesn't have a due date, so I could potentially miss it, but AI has picked it up, which I really like, and then I can schedule all. You can move this to say, do this for all two days or five days, I think. I think it's seven days maximum, and then it will just fill out your entire week. Now, I don't want it to fill out my entire week, but I can push schedule all, and now it's going to schedule all three of those tasks in those slots. So as I add a task into Morgan, I'll add a priority, I'll add a duration. So if we go here, you see we've got the estimate, that, that's the duration you can add it manually or click and scroll down so the AI will look at the priority and the duration to work out whether you should do it or can do it in those time slots of course if I go to the AI suggestion for this day so AI task suggestion is then going to give me some different suggestions but I'm not going to use those now although this AI planner is really really nice I haven't found it that useful mainly because I'm very particular about uh, my planning as you can see, my calendar is blocked with tasks. I have no spare time because I don't want there to be spare time. So the AI planner isn't for me, but I know a lot of people like it and I like the direction Morgan are going here.